going to the wall and I'm cut. Yep, that's what that is. And over there. Castle Black. How come I don't even have a jacket? I don't have a jacket. Recruits at the gate! Horses and cold. I'm not cold. This is cold. Hang on to the necklace. Gone? Gone? I see, John. There he is, right there, right? It's back to us? No, right there. Up there on top? Oh, up there. I didn't see. Yeah, you can go talk. Did we get Ed? New arrival, is it? Yeah. Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. What? Oh, missed line there. I think those are the same animations that they had for the people fighting in the port at uh, Ironwood. Whatever it's called. How are you not cold? Looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because you got that look about you. I, I am Dawson. I'm new here myself. Hi. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Never heard of him. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You see, that's not so good round here. Black. You fight like a girl. A wobbling girl, maybe. Respectful to girls, idiot. Okay. I don't like that the inventory stays on the left side of the screen. Oh, missing fingers. All right, fine. Handle it. Brave. You're Frostfinger. You recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? I'm Gary Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Gary Tuttle of Ironrath. Yeah. How does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the war? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Thank you. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. Oh. My uncle wrote to the knights. If I had lied, then the he goes on for a bit. Raven would have then he asked us to make you a ranger. I would like to be a ranger. It's a knighthood. I asked to be a ranger. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. They remembered. I asked to be a ranger. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. And you're welcome. Yes, yes. sir. Now then. We'll start your training in the morning. For correct. today, you need a cot and a cloak. Cot and a cloak. Understood. Thanks, dude. Today you're going oh, to sleep. Oh, Tuttle. Sooner or later, the night's watch will be your death. Thank you, when Random Mind. Try to make it quick. You're you're not helpful. Where's John? Where the fuck is John? I was promised John! Uh, you wanna drive? 
And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... They give us month-old bread. Cut. Fucking worms in it. And Lord Whitehill is about these. We should just take what we need. I'd rather die. The Whitehill soldiers always seem to be angry. And we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. His face is fucked. Yeah. Shouldn't you know what else? else? No fucking wine. Well, there must be wine in the cellars. De Gaulle's locked him up tight, just like his own cunt. He has no fucking right. Lord Whitehill will bring down the hammer. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? This idiot had a run-in with he's one of the flames. And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forrest is a real first. shame about your leg, my oh, lord. Give you the toss. Don't let go of your sister now. Wait a second. This guy's alive? We have we business have in the Great Hall. Yeah, he pulled himself off the dead part. <laughs> Go around. Dick. Get out of my way. Or don't test me. You don't want to test me. Is that right? Because you look pretty sad to me. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? <laughs> oh, that was a great joke. Fuck you. Don't press square. Move! Now! Right! Move! Go on, then. My lord. It's madness. You can't starve them out. We'll not coddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolishness. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as Sentinel. My lords. Lord. Still like the other guy better. What's the point? Roderick. Careful. My boy. Come, Come, join us. us. Lady Tosh, we're gonna come back to life. You should've told us the Lord needed help. Asher's gonna cross the sea, we know it. Cross the sea? He's in Essos. Across the sea, they found an Essos. It's good. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant Ethan. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. <laughs> yes, let's. Dahlia's told me the state of our house. But you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the Whitehill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies! You'll bring Lord Whitehill down on us, you fool! My lords, please! Oh, I'm a fool! At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay surrendered. Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted. He needed you there. Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing! I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The Whitehills are my brother. We fight amongst ourselves when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. 
We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took deep with Mott. Houses Helliver, Grayson, and Brownborough were all slaughtered at the Twins, and the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. Oh, so let's get married. Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire a union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Okay. Lady Elena? Oh, she's Perhaps. coming now! I'm not ready. My son, I understand your doubts, but if she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Boy to the fucking ground! Yes. This marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. Talking about a marriage, not an ironwood contract. I'll secure a father's arm, no matter what it takes. Very good, my lord. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironwood, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Just handle it. Perhaps a few meals are in order, but no wine. It's a start, at least. Good. Now, there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's good to be back. Apparently it doesn't burn? It, it, oh, it's like a cool magic... Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. Oh, she lost a twin. How is your song coming? Ethan always helps me with music. She's writing It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. But thank you. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. Interesting. Well, you didn't give a shit about it. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Nera. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Good luck. Doesn't yet. Mira's useless. <clears throat> Not useless. I... Well, useless. we haven't found a use for her yet. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's useless the food or the, the table settings. Useless in the sense that she hasn't been useful yet. There. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. I had to borrow that from father. Mine was stolen, can you imagine? I wonder who it was. <laughs> Me! Oh! Are there any more invitations to send, and or are we key. finally done with the cursed things? Your key to one more. An out. invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. Is that a tool joke? <laughs> no, Maynard, because he has a winery. Seriously. Hmm. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. I... Urchin. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. Goodbye. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. 
She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? <laughs> ah, it's my help she's after, isn't it? Yeah. She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Forgive my mother. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. Really? I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. I'm gonna write them letter. I'm a send a raven. I am. What do you think? Yep. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter. Let's do it. Ah, shit. We have to choose. Should we do the reckless thing? Up to you. Ah, shit. If she finds out, we're fucked. She's gonna find out. Maybe, but... maybe you think she's gonna find out no matter what. I did steal the thing. <laughs> I don't want to use it. Uh. <clears throat> Dear Lady Elena. Alright. No, no. Dearest Lady Elena. Sure. She took the seal with her. Luckily, I have this Lady Marjorie's seal. Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Elena of House Glenmore. Shit. I've never heard of the Glenmores. Uh oh. I know you're very busy with Lady Fuck. Marjorie and and all that's <clears throat> happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. About. If you don't mind. Go ahead then. <laughs> well. It's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with them? I've got them. <laughs> Bitch is gonna sell me out. That's me. You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. Wrong fucking answer. <laughs> Most of you will be dead within the year. Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? I don't care. The wall was erected over 8,000 years ago to defend the realm from wild No, white and I don't care. You should. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordling. He tried to stick me with this. 
19 castles stationed along the wall, but only three is I was stuck in him instead. So next time I say move, you best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diachrome are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? You fuck potatoes. What? No! I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. <laughs> Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the Potato <laughs> Cutter the Potato the Fucker! Oh, my sister was hungry. Oh, I've got something for your sister. Hey, don't fucking talk about my sister, alright? Well, I got sent in. Who in seven hells is talking back there? Tuttle, who was it? <clears throat> Sorry, sir. It were my fault. It were. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants... Doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. I need a word. Go on, get started. Hey, buddy. No, it was repeating you. Best of luck, Tuttle. Here we go. Again. Close up. See those dummies? Those are fenders. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Black. So this is home now. Doing that all wrong. Well, we don't have these, we're at. Oh! Oh! Ouch. <laughs> Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. Push it. Push it. All right, let's see if you can aim worth the wildling's ass. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt. Left target, head. Good. He's the left one. Right target, chest. <laughs> Something wrong with your no, eyes? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Not bad. Center between the eyes. Sorry, it moves around. Oh, no, I see it. I see it. Nice shot. One less wildly. Fuck yeah. You hit all of them. Nicely, Nicely done. done. 
John Snow, John Snow noticed me. Senpai noticed me. He noticed me. He noticed me. He noticed me. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. You shot your If a real wild and got his hands on him, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swirl oh. right off him. Great. Don't tell, all right. I don't think you take it kindly. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. You're starting a fight. Dumbass. <sighs> Fuck it. I'm just gonna keep petting horses. It's hard to know what they want. I don't know they want this. Uh. Yeah. Probably gonna go down to L2 to make this shit light up. I can see it, but I don't know how to get there. Gotta be faster! It's just not clear. I'm confused. I'm confused. There this it is. This is a UI problem. Look at the logs! It's log, <laughs> log. It's big, it's heavy, it's, it's big. Lots of that. Better than that. It's, it's good. good. Yes, the wall. The wall between Pyramus and Thisbe. Turning this around like a blind person with a steg. There we go. Look at the elevator. Fixer UI, Telltale. I wonder when I'll get to go up there. Okay. No. They say it's 700 feet tall. And 8,000 years old. But enough about your mother. How did they make how you fight the swords? Mm. It's clear that they want you to, but it's not clear where you need to go. Ah. Yeah. Just to take a sword. Tell, 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 figure it out. Take a sword. Take a sword. Shame you have a sword over there. Ew. Fix it where I tell you. Take that! Take that! Watch your bloody dog. You, grab a practice sword. Sure. Sir. Look where you get to grab Get those dummies where I tell you. Hmm. Oh, Which one want? do I want? What do you feel? Well, I can't tell what they're. I know what they look like, honestly. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Thank you. Remember, these blades are dull, but a sword's still a sword. Good, Good luck. luck. You'll need it. Uh, oh. Wake up. I get it. I get it. I keep moving the wrong thing. Like old Frosty said, not everyone's cut out for this. Old Frosty. God, Jon Snow didn't see that. Uh, no. I completed sword training? I thought I lost. I, I can't. Okay. What the fuck do you want from me? There's ascend the stairs. Yes. It's just like Titanic. Yes. Where's the chair? Oh, yeah, I hit it. I know, but I asked for it. There we go. Focus on? Oh. 
no, I, 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 I didn't want to go down. Be it. <laughs> I'm getting some exercise. It's, uh, wasn't Stir Master of Fitness? Yes. Stairs for it. Oh! Can I talk with him? I don't know. Can I talk with you? Can we talk? Like, can we be buds? L2. Maybe you can. Oh! Uh, he's selectable. Move, move your recticule on him. There you go. Total, I gave you orders. Uh. So, what are you doing up here? Sir, have you heard of the North Grove? Of course, I've heard of it. Just like I've heard of snarks, grumpkins, and children of the fucking forest. It's all horse shit. Now, if there's nothing else you need... I'm curious. How did you lose your finger, Mike? You're curious, are you? Are you curious what it's like inside an ice cell? No, sir. Didn't think so. I've answered your questions. So why are you still standing here? Sorry, sir. I'll get back to work. That's the door to the mess hall. Wish they'd serve up more than stew. Wander off now. Not a frost finger watching. one of these barrels over to the witch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wild things down to their fucking bones. Alright. I can do this. Uh, like pine tar. So I have to hold that and then <coughs> hold up. <coughs> Lift with your legs, not with your back. Want some out? <laughs> Eat crap. I've got your dagger. You don't even know it. Pitch is heavy. Where am I supposed to go? He said. What? Which? He, said the winch? he did. The thing in the elevator. Go back to the. the I can only go straight. Okay, I think that's where I'm supposed to go then. Alright. Get the fuck away from me, man. 
I'm not giving you your thing back because you were a jerk. I'm thinking stewing for you. You can help Frost finger wash his cock. It is nice, remember? If the thing isn't frozen off. I'll be a ranger. Just you watch. I'm not holding my breath, brother. Uh, You're pathetic. Oh, you leave Kid try. Rock alone. The crossbow's a coward's weapon. No, it's not. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? With your what? Where the fuck's my knife? I don't know. If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. Come to think of it, you were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It were me, Finn. Dawn. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Got it. Do something. But stop it before someone... I won't say it again. If you ever hit me again, I swear I'll... But I didn't dodge. Come on. Fight! Fight! Get here they go again. Fine, I'll fight you. Screw you. Ass. Ass. Now how about you? Are we Australian friends yet, asshole? You're not getting your knife. You're not getting your knife back. You're not. Yo, what is going on here? He stole my fucking knife. No, I didn't. And Garrett defended. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. Oh, great! Now I've got it on me. Great. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you. I expected better, Tuttle. Should I have turned Instead, I find him? you doing this All on right, your fine. first bloody day of training. Sir, so, uh, another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Mind your fucking manners. So it's a three-fingered slap. You, come with me. Yes, senpai. Fuck you, Cotter. Not you, Jim. Ah, uh, Christ. This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? You're right. It's beautiful here. Here in the Betrayal Book Garden. With Cartman. Just through here. Give nothing away. Give nothing away. What are you doing? What now? You'll see. What? Queen Cersei's finest wine. Oh, shit. Are you trying to... Give it here. I... I... Is there I enough for two? another one of those. <laughs> I never took you for a lush mirror. Girl, I drink. <sighs> Sadly, it's just the one. Well, fine. You drink then, and tell me your problems. <laughs> a little won't hurt. It's just wine. Just for you. Suit yourself then. I'm gonna guess that something's wrong here. So, are you... Go ahead.
Go ahead. Well, I just spit it out. Good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you, but I need you to promise. I swear, I won't tell a soul. I might break it anyway, but you know, we'll see. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. Uh huh. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. Oh. You bastard? Yes. Oh wow. From Mace. I'm fortunate to be where I am. I know that. <laughs> but it's always have to hide. What's your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. Oh wow. Interesting. All right. Who else knows about this? Lady Marjorie, her grandmother, and now you. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. Oh. It's my chance at a life. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides How do I in always you, get all the girl talk sequences? Hoping that maybe... I'm not complaining, it's just funny. Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Please, Mira. And what would I stand to gain if I did this? Oh. Seven hells, Mira. Do you ever think about anyone besides yourself? That was That's not what not I thought. I That's care. not what I... No, you're right. I'm sorry, Sarah. No, Jeez. I'm sorry. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. Uh, yeah, With well, sure. Your your father. Your father. Drinking. You sure you won't have him? You look like you could use a drink. Life isn't miserable, you just want to ascend. Yeah. Hmm. A conspiracy of hand. Lord Tyrion, my lord. <laughs> Ladies. Let's drink. What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. That's the right move, right? Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Oh, the arbor. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. Uh, I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. I should have, well, we, oh well. We found it in that bush. <laughs> Look, Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. Phrasing. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking. Especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Yeah, well, okay, sorry. Things have changed. What? My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Uh, Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords... I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. Do it! Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine what if I their surprise when I had the wine and then gone to the meeting? It might be the first fun I've had in months. Oh, jeez. You're not counting Shay? My lady. You're not counting Blackwater? Who wrote this? 
Oh, by the way, I read a thing. They're apparently already making a sequel to this. Oh, well. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? And you will respect my authority. Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. Perhaps you should ask Lord Tyrion. I asked you. Andros. She's here for the same reason you are. Ironwood. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord Tyrion. You Tyrion's spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Yep. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss? You can't do this. I assure you, I can. Disrespect! My lord. I don't think so. Step. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. Step. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. Tell whomever you wish, my lord. It's no concern of mine. We'll see about that. Lord Tyrion. Lord that Tyrion, was fun. do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Get out. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? Now we're doing My economy? Lord. The Crown's Iron Man. I assume you have a proposition. I'm not going to suck your dick. You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. I'm sure you already have a proposal in mind. Talk. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. What's the catch? You'll have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things. But sending an army to the north is not What do you think? However, so I know your house needs me. this. The White Hills are already against us, and they have half of it already. Shit. I'll consider the arrangement. Thank you. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. So what's that, then? Don't worry. The terms will be fair. I need more than that. I'll have an answer for you soon enough. That's not good enough. We have an understanding, then. Thank you, my lord. Uh... This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> For your sake, I hope it's the former. My lady. Yeah, thanks. Looks like I've got a cinnamon bun on the back of my head. <laughs> Interesting. Essos. Another way. Why are you tiptoeing? You're coming with us then. I'm cautious. She's covered in blood. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell swords. 
and a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known. Your father was blind to me. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? He didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. <laughs> no one believes anything you say! Well, this mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. What kind of unfinished business? The kind I'd rather keep to myself. Well, that's not good enough. Come on. These motherfuckers. Fontes Renas! You guy in a Josie put tag on Costotti Tower. Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. Which one of those three should be the leader? If not Asher, then the old guy or her? Maybe her. Maybe Asher. No, no, I mean other two. The non Asher dude. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it. Yeah, I got country. Everything's still here. Fuck 
Why would someone do this? The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Was someone going through my books? I have information that will aid you with the M. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Yeah, it's that little street urchin. Yeah. It's that dirty kid. Uh, pig pen. Pig pen. Skinny pig pen. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. I'll last through her <clears throat> visit, at least. You might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir, it should not be a concern. Never in question. Of, of course not. I just meant... Enough, Maester. When we last spoke of Elena, you said you'd push to get her father's army. And so you must. Yeah, yeah. Just remember that she'll want to see gentleness in you too. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. So now it's dating time. Let's date. Time to go on a date. Roderick? He's having such a hard time. You look... You're really... Welcome to Iron Rath, Elena. It's good to see you. Where are my courtesies? It's good to see you too. Good. Yeah, don't flatter her. Don't flatter her at all. Don't flatter her. No. Please. Why not? She appreciated it when you didn't uh, butter her up. So, here we are. I'm glad to see you up and about. How have you been, Lena? Oh, it's been quiet, I suppose. Times have certainly been difficult, but I'm well. Thank you for asking. I set out for Iron Wrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only answer. imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide and seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You're always in behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick... I, um, I need to ask you...